So we've been doing a study into what measurement toolkits are, and we've been uh, looking at a whole variety of measurement toolkits across um, different uh, industry sectors. They, they generally have quite a lot of commonality in them. What um, uh, advertisers are doing is they're using MMM or econometric modelling to understand the overall impact of advertising spend on ROI. They're often using attribution tools to understand the short-term impact of uh, on sales. So which media is directing consumers to go and buy there and then. Uh, and then they do a bunch of um, uh, tests as well to be able to uh, understand which tactic is working um, and which tactic is not working. Uh, and so overall, these measurement toolkits are really trying to understand the effectiveness of sales. Um, but the smart advertisers now are actually starting to look at the indicators before that. So what are the leading indicators that impact sales in the future? Uh, and this is where Brandlift studies come in. Um, Brandlift studies provide a leading indicator of your future sales. Uh, and they provide the data in a timely manner uh, and also provide it with the ability to, to cut the data in different ways, um, provide real granularity in it so that you can actually understand the action that you should take. So is this publisher providing you with more uplift compared to another uh, publisher? Is this creative working better than another creative? Um, is this media uh, and this media combination working harder? Uh, and so by being able to provide that data in a timely manner and having the understanding that brand lift metrics are a leading indicator of future sales, you get to be able to adjust your media plan as you go to make uh, a better return on your investment.